Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, my world. So today's makeup look is all about this vampy kind of makeup look which I've come up with. In case you wanted to know how I created this look, then keep on watching. So guys, for today's makeup look, I'm also using a lot of new products. So do keep on watching. And first thing first, so which is to moisturize our face. So I am using uh, Invader uh, sunscreen lotion, and it got. Uh, 30 PA plus plus which is like 3 plus plus so uh, what I'll do is that I'll just put this on my face and just give a gentle massage I don't know in this weather my skin is feeling a little dry so and I'm getting a lot of breakouts is happening over on my you know especially this in area god knows what but if you guys know any good trick you know to get away from this uh, you know pimples or breakout do let me know so once you are done uh, all you have to do is apply a tiny amount of uh, Siviana primer you can use any primer I have only Siviana primer with me so just taking a tiny amount like I always said in my all makeup videos that it helps your makeup to last long last for a good period of time so it's very important to apply a primer okay so once the primer is done I will go for the CC cream which is from Lacme so in today's makeup look I'm not using any foundation so this is the new Lacme CC cream which you know Lacme have recently introduced and um, uh, this the shade I'm in is beige and it's again got SPF 30 PA plus plus so uh, this costed me around 350 if I'm not wrong and let's use this product in today's look so it look very white it's not uh, the uh, it does not show you that color right uh, what we used to have in the old CC cream you know the little yellowish foundation color now I'm using the CC cream I'm using my beauty blender all I'm doing is I'm applying on my you know face and just tapping it so you can see it's look white but it's not it will give you that you know yellow tinted moisturizer foundation basically so now I'm moving to a concealer and this time I recently bought fit me concealer and in the shade of uh, basically light light leffer shade time and all I'm doing is I'm just applying to my you know areas where I need some coverage and the highest points and of course my chain area wherein you know I'm getting a lot of pimples Taking the same beauty blender, I'll just, uh, you know, uh, blend the entire concealer. So I think it has almost covered the uh, areas where I need some, you know, uh, correction. And we can also try and put something around my, you know, this area. So I'm going to do that. For this, I'm using my Fab Back Concealer, which I've received in the month of April, I believe. And all I do is I'll just put a little two drop over here and some over here and some over here. So 
so now we can see that our area is almost the face area is all covered and just to uh, you know um, I will just put some uh, powder here for the baking thing and uh, so that my concealer gets settled now So once that's done, uh, we'll go for the eye eyebrows basically. So for eyebrows, I'll be using my Miss Claire shade 210 and taking the angular brush and just, you know, apply the eyeshadow. All you have to do is fill your, you know, eyebrows. You can use any brown color, whichever is perfect for your eyebrows. I am going with this shade. So once the eyebrows are done, I uh, will move ahead with the next step. So guys, for today's eye makeup look, I am using this Lakme 22 hour uh, kajal which I recently bought and I will be using this on my uh, for my base today. Also we are forgetting one more step which I will do it right in, in another one minute. So now what I will do, I will just smudge the black kajal on my lid. It's quite creamy kajal. I am liking it. So once that's done, I'm using my washi tape. This is the step you should all never forget. It will just help you to do your eye makeup in a very good way. And again, I'm using this eyeshadow from Goldmine. I'm using this, um, you know, burgundy color, which is there in this eyeshadow palette. And I'll be just applying on my lid. This is very pretty color, oh, guys. I think West had really come up with a very good eyeshadows, and now they are not coming with lot many. So they should come up with good eyeshadows. I think the pigmentation of these eyeshadows are amazing. See. So once. Uh, just winged it out. Now we'll be using any brown color and just mixing the color. So once this eye is complete, uh, all we I will do is just highlight the area. So I want to highlight somewhere in the you know tear duct area and my bobo. For you know highlighting my tear duct area, I'll be using my NYX uh, eyeshadow palette, and I'll just use my finger and close my eyes and put some shade over here. And I'll just on my bobo area. I think not really happy how this color is coming out so maybe I'll use another highlighter and so once the eyes are complete all we do is uh, we will just do a wing eyeliner and do little smudge so for that I'm again using my black uh, kajal from Lakme and I'll just create a very thin line the thin line I'll just match the entire color oops just take care So 
so once that that's done we'll just remove our tape so that's uh, finished our one eye look so i think i'm not really happy with the gajal so i'll put a you know a one more uh, you know black uh, maybe a liner so for lower lashes i'm just using a new blue color and i'll just fill half my waterline yeah so that's uh, finish this one eye makeup and i'll repeat the same to my different eye so once the both the eyes are completed that's how my eye is going to look like and i'll now apply a um, a generous amount of mascara for my mascara i'll be using a uh, maybelline colossal one um, and i really love this mascara and i'll apply a generous amount of mascara on my and once that's completed i also wanted my eyes to look more bigger so for that i'll be using this nude essence eye shadow i like basically basically and call it not an eyeliner and then apply a line so once that's completed it's going to my eyes will look like for today's look i'll be using the same blush the coral one from chiki glow i'll apply the you know blush on my cheeks I'll be also using bronzer today this is a natural bronzer from Rimmel and I'll just apply on my forehead some on my cheeks so it's giving me that sun kissed effect and so for today's lips i have come up with a very bold lip color so i'll just first i'll just apply uh, a pencil liner so for that i'm going using the skiko color and which is in the shade 706 and apply a you know i'll just fill up my like you know lips from this this is very beautiful lip liner and now see i'm looking good no i really love this liner so for today's lipstick i'll be using two shades one is from nyx and this is copenhagen the other one is wine divine from maybelline so for first i'll just apply wine divine from maybelline and just fill my lip from that color it is such a pretty vampy color and now i'll apply it on next copenhagen a very thin amount So the guys that's how the finished look will look like and I hope you have enjoyed this video take care bye bye